Yeah, started. Mode already started? Started. Yeah, okay. So today is um, Monday, August uh, 24, 2016. Now this dog, this dog is a Maltese cross schnauzer, four years old, female spade, uh, black. Now, many schnauzers, they do have hairy ears. Uh, so when they have hairy ears, the, the ventilation is blocked because the hairs all, all prevent the ventilation and drainage. Uh. So you, you can't see much of the hairy ears, but this side you can see. There you can see a bit of hair in the canal. Eh? There you see the hair. Eh? Yeah. So the groomer, do you send the groomer? Yes. So when you send the groomer, the groomer will pluck the hairs. Eh? They pluck the hairs from the vertical canal. This is the vertical canal. But unfortunately, sometimes the owner doesn't go to the groomer frequently. Eh? Normally, normally, about once. Eh? Do you go there every six weeks? Uh, no. They don't go. So what happens is uh, that the uh, ventilation and drainage becomes Structured and then what? Uh, there's uh, infection, inflammation, and blood, blood. And then, and you can hear the sound, and, and, and it's painful. Huh? So, so the solution there's a surgical solution. So the solution is to, under anesthetic, to cut open the side wall. We call it the side wall. This is a vertical canal. So cut open the side wall, throw away, and then this open up the ear canal. So when they once once they go up the ear canal, cut away this side wall, the blue one, this is the vertical canal, cut away the side wall, cut away the side wall, it's a rectangular piece. Huh? So once it's cut away, we take it away then, take it away. Then uh, so even though there are ear hairs, it doesn't matter because there's drainage. There is drainage. This part is open up and then there's a hole here. The hole is the entrance to the horizontal canal. So everything from poison can never come out also. So in this case the dog will not feel the infection of the of the ears for, for the for the rest of her life. Huh? So we understand like, it's like plumbing, like, it's like the 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 the, the, what, the drainage pipe for, for the sink. Huh? Yeah. The sink also they have the same problem. The sink below the sink, you have a drainage pipe, right? Mm. So every time the thing is trapped here or the or the hairs and all this. You know the singer, uh, the small hairs all the stuff here, so choke. The chin, uh, the sing also get the block. Mm. You know right. So so of course we open up the the, the thing to. There's a there's a I think there's a cap to open up and then we have to drain off the, the choke the hairs. Uh. So mm. same with uh, the L shape. Right? In other words, both are L shape. Mm. The sing also L shape. The 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 dog's ear also L shape. Mm, that's why the ear always smelly. Ah, correct, because the, the thing all blocked here. There's no way mm. it can come out. At least in the sink, we can uh, we can uh, uh, open up the lower part. The yeah. sink, we can always open up the lower part and then they, they mm. remove oh. the hairs and then it unblock, you know? It don't oh. So the dog, it kind of first dog. Not getting worse and worse because the hairs yeah. getting more and more. The hairs also. So you see what I mean? Mm, okay. So the surgery will definitely solve the problem, especially. So this one you can see is due to scratching and see uh, on black. This this black pigmentation is due to many months uh, actually of the dog scratching with the back legs. And then you can see when you scratch the back leg, you can see uh, the, you can see the the, the, the skin also injured. Uh. So you can see that see injury because the users does it do that? Or it, it scratch the neck. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. In this case, this dog, I noticed he doesn't scratch the flank. Uh. Some dog is scratched here, but this dog is scratched at that one. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it damaged his paw, and this get infected, and it becomes very itchy. Uh. So this paw, they show the paw becomes itchy, and you can tell, see the character. Sometimes you use a front paw to do it. Uh. I guess it's stuck here. The neck, some. When, when it's longer, uh, now it's not so long yet. Longer than this thing, also, the hair all gone and the skin very thick, maybe another two years later. And you can see that the left side, huh? the left side, the left side, the ear is not so bad, but it's, they're still scratching, you can see the, you can see the, the paw. Now the left, the left ear, the left ear is not so bad. You can see there's no uh, black pigmentation, uh, no scolodile skin, it's not so rough. But you can see the groomer may have done a better job on this. On this canal, uh, the groom. When was the last grooming? Uh, one month ago. 
one month ago, yeah. So the groomer has plucked the hairs, and so you can see that the hairs are not so much hairs. Uh. So when, when you put the cotton bud in, it's, not, it's a bit painful, there's this blood, you can see blood there. This reddish thing is blood. Uh. Now this side is worse, this side is worse one, you can see it's very rough. It's very rough. Uh. And then when you, this one depending the dog is not so happy with put the cotton bud in because it's, it's more painful and infected. You see the blood here? Mm. There is blood. This is, this is more bloody and there is pus inside. So so you smell it, it's very bad. What what ear drop? You use nothing, right? Uh, Ning oil. Uh, you put oil in. Oil doesn't help to solve the problem. Mm. Oh, this is a common uh, pet shop, pet shop product. Uh, Ning mm. oil and all this. Uh, but it doesn't help. Because as you can understand anatomy, uh, once you understand the anatomy, the, the, the dog's ear is vertical canal plus horizontal canal. It's L-shaped. So this l shape is a cylinder. Uh, so, so unless you over, you over the side wall by cutting away this, this uh, piece of cartilage, uh, so it open up. Then the ventilation and the drainage is possible because when you bathe the dog, the water and shampoo will just come out here. Mm. And even if the hairs, even if there's hairs in the horizontal canal, we can clean because now we are open up like the human ear. The human ear, we can see a hole right in our ears. So ours is only horizontal canal. Mm. Whereas the dog has a vertical and horizontal canal. So even after the operation, you can easily maintain the horizontal canal by cleaning now and then. But you don't have to have this head shaking and scratching for, for a long time. Because scratching sometimes, uh, it's, as you can see, affects the pores also. Mm. Then they start licking the paw. And in the end, you have generalized skin disease, which you saw in the other dog. Uh, uh, I mean, the, the white dog. So that is how it started. So this is the origin. Uh, so you can put in a video. This is the origin. Origin like that. Nothing much. Uh, only this two. Only. Then nothing. This one's okay. Uh, but this one, the paws is affected already. So you see the origin of the, of the generalized uh, dermatitis in the other dog, the six-year-old dog. It's all over the whole body dandruff. The, the, the ear got, the ear got uh, scales uh, because the owner didn't bring the, the dog to the groomer. So you saw the other one, so this is the... This, this dog has been the groomer, so it's not that bad. Uh, but it's no good also. Okay, we'll finish so we just set it for... Okay, for the dentist, the other one, have a look. This one?